Hello, everyone. Welcome to the primary quiz. I hope you're all okay and had a lovely week. Just been sorting out some technical issues again. But it's uh, been a very, very busy week for me. Hang on, just try, let me just sort this bit out. There we are. So it's a special, special week this week. So I was in school with uh, Mrs. Beresford, Mrs. Hunt, Tammy, Helene and Carol. And we've been very, very busy looking after some children, but it's been lovely having lots and lots of visitors in school. So I hope uh, you're all enjoying your VE day. And we're going to do a little bit of a reflection at the start of this, uh, this quiz, just to make sure that we're all celebrating VE. Day. And then I'll let you get on with your special days that you're having. And I've been hearing all about what people have organized this week, meeting all of you, when you're picking up your packs from school and things like that. So we've got uh, six rounds today. Uh, we're going to do a dingbat round first, and we're going to do, um, and then we're going to move on to a weather round and a history round. We're going to do animals and flags, and then we're going to finish with a general knowledge round. So I hope you're all Ready? You've got your pens and papers ready. I've got all my notes ready. Okay. Hopefully you'll have a little bit of fun to kick off your VE day. I'm sure you've all done your exercise this morning and all that, but we'll maybe have a little bit of a dance in the break, a little bit like last time. We've had uh, quite a, a busy, busy week. We need to stretch those legs and, and continue that celebrating. So. There we go. Right. So yeah, let me tell you a little bit about our week. So we've made, uh, well, we attempted to make scones. We've uh, made some bread and delivered the bread to a local fire station. We've had um, lots and lots of visitors. It's been lovely to see all those children. I've, I've been told off by uh, Isabel in year one saying that I got the dance completely wrong last week. On Sunday, I went off to uh, Sainsbury's and I got... Uh, I think I've got my number one fan, Mr. Mr. Gios, Johnny Gios. Uh, hello, Mr. Gios, your number one fan. He started bowing down like this to me because uh, of my, my my dancing and things like that. And he said I should have lots of subscribers. So um, we'll just see. I'm just going to keep rabbiting on for a little while because it's uh, two minutes. And I think the whole nation is going to be doing um, a two minute silence for VE Day. So I'm going to do, we'll do our two minute silence together. And I'm going to light the candle that I've got here and I'm going to read you a little poem. And when we're doing our two minute silence, I really want you to think about peace. Because the E Day does celebrate that time when war was over and there was the hope that peace could, could um, reign again in Europe and that we could all maybe start getting along. So let's think about, I want to really think about peace and how we can create more peace in the world now and in the future. And I really believe that peace starts from within you, from each individual. And if all individuals had peace inside them and wanted to share peace, then maybe we would have a much more peaceful world. So let's think about, we're going to think about peace and how we can maybe it can start from ourselves and what we can do. Maybe you can use our school values to help you think about peace and how we can share it with other people. So in a few minutes, we're going to, well, in about 30 seconds, we'll do our two minute silence. And then we can start our fun quiz, hopefully. And if you're making this part of your VE celebration, thank you very much. And I hope this is a nice way for you guys to start. So we're going to think about peace and how we can maybe share it with all of our friends, family, and even people that we don't know. So, in two minutes, starts now.
Okay, and that's two minutes silence. I'm going to blow the candle out, although I should leave it on, but I just don't want to set fire to anything. So thank you very much for joining me with for that two minutes silence. And that was just to think about peace and think about what uh, how all those people 75 years ago sacrificed their lives. And what I found for us, I wanted to share with you is a little poem that I found written by a child around about your age, okay, I think 11 years old, okay, but it was 75 years ago. So let me read it out to you. Maybe you could think about some of those things that you were thinking about in your minute silence, and then we'll get on with the quiz and have lots and lots of fun. So the war is won. It's VE day. A wild excitement fills the air. Grown-ups busy, children play. Among the tables, standing there. In, in, roads, in roads bedecked with myriad flags and bunting hung across the street, women dressed in their best rags, pile tables high with things to eat. Men pull rafters from a bomb site, building a gigantic fire. Ernie plays the old Joanna, favourite tunes that won the war. Any song for just a tanner, money goes to help the poor. Beer and whiskey flow like water, hoarded for the special day. Young men hang round Charlie's daughter, pretty as the flowers in May. Darkness falls, they light the fire. Flaming fingers reach the top, Adolf sitting in a tire. Burns until the head goes pop. Dance and singing follow after. Okie koki, conga too. Food and drinks and lots of laughter. Oh, it was a perfect do. So our special day has ended. Heads are aching, feet are sore. Still, at least, they'll soon be mended. Different from those hurt in war. Let us hope we never have to celebrate a VE day. Be as one. Just Europeans. And I think it was a really nice poem. So, and today I know there's lots of different things going on. And speaking to some of the parents, I know Evie in year one has organized a little uh, quiz for the local, all, the, all of our local streets. And there's, I went to the walk this morning, there's bunting everywhere. So people are going to have t tea parties and things like that. I know they're playing Churchill's speech at three o'clock. And at six o'clock, we're, we're going to raise a toast to, uh, to the end to the end of war 75 years ago and i think that's and i think we all need a little bit of a celebration in our in our lockdown at the moment and any and a good excuse to to maybe wave to people from our front doors to say um we're, we're in it together okay so let's get on with the quiz then so hopefully this, this could be part of your um your celebrations doing a little quiz with me and and the rest of the school and we can all enjoy it together Okay, and so the theme of my um, my assembly is celebration. Really, we're going to have a little bit of a celebration and enjoy the little things. Enjoy the little things. I know people in my class know all about enjoying the little things. We uh, we celebrate lots of different th little things, being a little bit silly. So let's start off then. So the first round is going to be dingbats. Okay, but before we do that, how does a how does a penguin build its home? It glues it together. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give an example of a dingbat because uh, it's a bit of a strange word. I love the word, but it's basically say what you see. Say what you see. So if I gave you this one here, oh, it's going to be backwards, isn't it? But that would be get over it. Get over it. That would be the answer. Okay, so question number one for dingbat round is this image here. So say what you see. I'm sorry it's backwards, but maybe someone can read it to you. Ding back round. Question number one is this. Okay. Question number two. Oh, just been told it is isn't backwards, but it is on my screen. Crazy cat. <laughs> Thank you, Essie. Okay, you can always pause the video. Remember, if you want to um, 
Or you can rewind if you missed one. Okay, question number three. So say what you see. It's a ding back round. Okay. Number four, say what you see. Say what you see. Give a clue for that one. It's uh, golf might help. Uh, number five, the last one of this round. Good teaching term, that one, if you got that one. Okay, so that was the first round, a ding back round. So I hope you uh, you can always pause that video. Remember, rewind to, if you missed any of those. Okay, so we're going to move on to the uh, second round, which is the all about weather, the so weather rounds. Okay, so before we start, um, how does the rain tie its shoes? In a rainbow. Oh, very good. Thank you. I like that one. That's a, a joke for Essie because she loves rainbows. Okay. Let's hope it doesn't. Um, let's hope it doesn't rain today. The cloud on my walk this morning looked like the clouds are going to break up a little bit. Okay. I don't like it when it rains cats and dogs because uh, it might s step in a poodle. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Question number one. Breeze and gale are common terms to describe what? Breeze and gale are common terms to describe what? Step in a poodle. <laughs> Number two. Balls of a regular shaped ice that fall from the clouds are known as what? Balls of a regular shaped ice that fall from the clouds are known as what? Question number three. In a thunderstorm, what comes first, thunder or lightning? In a thunderstorm, what comes first, thunder or lightning? Okay, question number four is a multiple choice. So, question four, what causes a tsunami? What causes a tsunami? Is it A, very strong winds, B, an earthquake under the sea, C, the change of seasons, or D, extremely high tides? So is that, what causes a tsunami? A, very strong winds, B, an earthquake, an earthquake under the sea, C, the change of seasons, and D, Extremely high tides. Okay, and question number five, last one for this round is what two things do you need for a rainbow? What two things do you need for a rainbow? Okay, just to finish that round, what do you get if you uh, cross a snowman and a vampire? Frostbite. <laughs> ah, okay, history round. La last round before we have a little break. So, um, does, it, does anyone know, by the way, what the, um, what the favourite movie was in ancient Greece? Troy Story. Okay, question one. In which country are the famous ancient pyramids? In which country are the famous ancient pyramids? Of 
Question two. Who is the president of America? Who is the president of America? Question three. What did King Arthur pull out of the stone? Number three, what did King Arthur pull out of the stone? Question four, what does BC mean? What does BC mean? And question five, what was Shakespeare's first name? What was Shakespeare's first name? Okay, and that's the round. That's uh, the first half finished. Okay, so I hope you've. Uh, you can always remember rewind the uh, or scroll back on your YouTube to check if uh, if you've got any if you missed any of those questions. Okay, but uh, just to finish that round, what do you call a dinosaur um, that is asleep? Dino snore. <laughs> okay, so birthdays this week. Now, I know there's a, a few special birthdays. And so um, the children in our school, Isaac, who turned six, I know you had a very special day. And Luca, I saw you on the field having a very, very special day, and your mum told me all about it. And you turned 10. And Sky turned 11. Keisha also turned 11. And then um, in staff-wise, Nikki had a very special birthday and Chloe, an even, a very, very special birthday where she turned, eight, turned 18. So um, a huge happy birthday to all of you. And uh, let's do a quick song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to all of you. Happy birthday to you. And I hope you have a really, had a really special celebration and maybe we can uh, do it something special for Chloe's 18th birthday when uh, when lockdown's over. So happy birthday to you all. Okay. Um, last week I got uh, told that my dancing was absolutely fantastic to Baby Shark. So I thought we'd continue that a little bit and we'll um, try and um, well, I was just I was being told by Isabel, like I said earlier, that my dancing, I missed a few moves. And I know lots of you have been doing your Zoom dances with your groups and things like that. But uh, and I've, I've seen people doing TikTok dances and things like that. So I thought I'd show you how to dance properly today, how to do a real dance. So let me just get a little bit set up Go and get a drink, have a little break and we'll uh, and I'll be ready. You'll probably hear the music before. You... OK, so I'm just going to. Move the table so I get lots and lots of room because uh, these are going to be serious moves. And you're welcome to use any of these at any time. And this is all for uh, for all those people who don't who struggle with dance moves. Let's check you can get me in. Maybe Chloe could use these on for her 18th birthday. Let's see. Can you see me now? Okay. Before you do, do any, any sort of exercise, you need to do a little bit of a warm up. Okay, I'm just going to make sure the door's shut so I don't get any injuries. So, a few lunges maybe. Ooh. A few lunges. Take that arm across. And then you always need a little bit of sass. Okay. I think I'm warmed up now. Right, I'm ready. Okay, so I've got one of my favourite songs to dance to, and I want you to try and follow my moves. This is serious moves, and you will, if I can get the music going. Sorry, you're zooming right in my in my face. We're getting a little bit close, aren't we? Okay, Let's see if I can get this to work. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Yeah, I like to. Okay, I like to move it, move it. 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 I like
Original King Julius. 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 Original
How many legs does an octopus have, or how many tentacles does an octopus have? Question number four. How many wings does a dragonfly have? How many wings does a dragonfly have? And question number five. What is the tallest animal in the world? What is the tallest animal in the world? I'm sure Katie will know the answer to that one. Okay, so the, um, the fifth round is going to be all about flags. So the first, before we do that though, how do you count cows? With a calculator. Okay, I'm going to show you a picture of some flags now and you're going to tell me the country that they are from. So question number one is this one here. What country is that? <laughs> Question number two, which country is this one? That's Question number two, which country is this one? Okay, question number three is this one here. What country is that? What country is that? Okay, question number four. Oh, one more showed you one of them then. Just have to fold them over so you don't see them. Okay, question number four is... This one here, what country is that? Remember, you can pause the video if you need to. And question number five is this one here. So which country is this one? Okay, so those are the five flag questions, okay, and I hope you've done well on those ones. And now we're on to the, the final round, which is all about uh, general knowledge, okay. But I think I needed a tissue a minute ago, but uh, I was thinking about how do you make a, a tissue dance? You put a boogie in it. <laughs> oh, I like that joke. Okay, general knowledge. If you're all ready. Question number one. How many days in July? How many days in July? Question number two, what is Mickey Mouse's girlfriend called? What is Mickey Mouse's girlfriend called? Question number three, what sport is played at Wimbledon? What sport is played at Wimbledon? Question number four, how many wheels does a unicycle have? And Ethan told me a very good joke about a unicycle today. Uh, I can't remember what it was. Yesterday. 
I'll let you I'll let him share that one. So how many wheels does a unicycle have? And question number five, where in the world is the Eiffel Tower? Where in the world is the Eiffel Tower? And that's the end of our quiz. So there was a, a special V VE Day quiz where we had a little reflection, thinking about peace, thinking about celebrating. And I've shown you some super dance moves in our break about, so you can use in your um, celebrations later on and make sure that you uh, in, enjoy the, your communities from a distance. Make sure that you don't uh, get too close, but maybe you can uh, share. I know lots of uh, cul-de-sacs and streets are are having a little celebration together from a distance. And I've been hearing all about bingo games that have been going on. I've been hearing about uh, tea parties and, and little quizzes for your communities as well, which is a lovely, lovely thing to be doing, okay? And I know Mrs. Cole and the rest of the teachers are, are hoping to see lots of pictures of, you, of your celebrations and what you're doing for VE Day. Now, remember, Mrs. Cole's put on our Facebook page about um, 3 p.m. Churchill's um, speeches are going to be played and 4 p.m. we're supposed to be having tea and scones or scones which wherever you're from which way, way you say it and 6 p.m. Um, at your dinner time you're supposed to raise a toast to um, to maybe the soldiers that have fallen but also to peace as well to make sure that we have peace and make sure you have a really nice celebration it's a really good excuse to have some fun I think today on this bank holiday Friday okay and uh where we, we wouldn't normally wouldn't be working, but uh, it's all these strange times. Okay, so I'm going to finish with our final reflection, and I think this reflection is really important today. Okay, and when we think about that, that peace that we want for the rest of the world. So if you want to make this your prayer, please say amen at the end. May the rose rise. Oh, I haven't done. I'm very sorry. I haven't done the answers. I've just been told I've been skipping through it so quickly that I forgot to do the answers. Oh, we'll do all that again in a minute then. Okay. Because my, my head's been at school all day. Very, very sorry. All right, so I'll have to go through the answers. Okay, so the first round was the dingbat round. Okay, and we had, I showed you all these images. So, let's get your pens ready to mark. Oh, that was, a, see, I've gone a bit red here as well. Okay, question number one was this one, which is top secret, top secret. Question number two was this one, which is, I understand. I understand. A good teaching one there. This one here is wave goodbye. Wave goodbye because it's shaking the wind. Very good. This one here, say what you see. A hole in one. A hole in one. Okay, good teaching one here as well. We've got a lamb in eight. Laminate. Laminate. I like that one. It's very good. Okay, the next round we had our weather round. So round two was weather. So question number one, breeze and gale are common terms to describe what, which is wind. Wind. Question number two, balls of irregular shaped ice that fall from the clouds are known as what? And that is hail, hail. Question number three, in a, in a thunderstorm, what comes first, thunder or lightning? That is lightning. Lightning, because light travels faster than sound, okay? Number four, what causes a tsunami? And that is B an earthquake under the sea.
And five, what two things do you need for a rainbow? That is rain and sunshine. Rain and sunshine. Okay. Round three was history round. In which country are the famous ancient pyramids? That is Egypt. Question two, who is the president of America? Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Question number three, what did King Arthur pull out of the stone? It was a sword. Question number four, what does BC mean? Is before Christ. And number five, what was Shakespeare's first name, which was William? William. Okay, then we moved on to our animals round, which was round four. What is the name of a baby kangaroo? And that is a joey. Joey. Which forest loving animals are red and gray? They are squirrels. Squirrels. And we've got the red ones are native and the gray ones came over. And they're a bit more aggressive than our red ones. Okay, number three. How many legs does an octopus have? Which is eight. Eight. And question four, how many wings does a dragonfly have? Four? Yay! My class know why I'm celebrating, because the question number is the same as the answer. And remember, we have to enjoy the little things in life, and that is very exciting. We also like it when a uh, question like 12 and the answer is question number 12 and the answer is 21, because that's a palindrome, and we love that as well. You have to celebrate these things. It's very, very important. Okay, and number five, what is the tallest animal in the world? And that is a giraffe, a giraffe. Okay, then we had the flags round. So this one here was Japan. Number two is France. Number three was the USA or America, United States of America. Number four is Germany. And number five is Spain. And that's all of the flag round. And the last round we had was general knowledge. I can track it down. Here we are. Okay. So um, question number one, how many days in July? And that's 31. Number two, what is Mickey Mouse's girlfriend called? That's Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse. Question three, what sport is played at Wimbledon? Is tennis. Number four, how many wheels does a unicycle have? That's one. One. And number five, where in the world is the, is the Eiffel Tower? It's France. And you could say, be more specific and say Paris. Okay. And that is the end of the quiz now. I'm sorry about that little mistake. I have to do a, have to do the answers for a quiz, otherwise it's pretty pointless, isn't it? Okay. So good luck. Remember to write on our Facebook page what scores you got. I'd love to hear what scores you you managed to get, and I hope you enjoy your celebrations. And I'm sure um, maybe I know lots of people are watching this quiz this evening as well. So I hope you've enjoyed your uh, your VE day because I know lots of you are very busy today doing and enjoying that lovely weather that we've had. Okay, so remember, 3 p.m. is um, the Churchill speeches, 4 p.m. tea and scones, and 6 p.m. is a dinner and a toast. Okay, that's, and we'd love to see some pictures of those. Okay, remember, like I said before, we'll try again with our little reflection. And I'm going to share our school, bless school blessing, which we do at the end of all of our VIP assemblies. Let that flame take. There we go, we can see the flame now in the video. Okay, and if you want to make this your prayer, then you can say amen at the end. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face, the rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand.
Okay. Happy VE Day and I hope and enjoy yourselves and stay safe. And remember Mrs. Cole and Miss Bryson's team are going to be in school next week if you want to pop in and say hello to them. Okay. Bye bye everybody and enjoy those dance moves.